Dear Mariners, Welcome, to my channel The Sailing Beast. Please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for updates on upcoming videos. Question explains IGF code. Ancient International Code of Safety for Ship Using Gases or Other Low Flashpoint Fuels, IGF Code Mandatory IGF Code for Ships Using Gases or Other Low Flashpoint Fuels enters into force on 1 January 2017, along with new training requirements for seafarers working on those ships. The purpose of the International Code of Safety for Ship Using Gases or Other Low Flashpoint Fuels is to provide an international standard for ships other than vessels covered by the IGC code, operating with gas or low flashpoint liquids as fuel. The basic philosophy of the code is to provide mandatory criteria for the arrangement and installation of machinery, equipment and systems for vessels operating with gas or low flashpoint liquids as fuel to minimize the risk to the ship, its crew and the environment having regard to the nature of the fuels involved. Throughout the development of the code it was recognized that it must be based upon sound naval architectural and engineering principles and the best understanding available of current operational experience, field data and research and development. Due to the rapidly evolving new fuels technology, the organization will periodically review the code, taking into account both experience and technical developments. The code addresses all areas that need special consideration for the usage of the gas or low flashpoint liquids as fuel. The basic philosophy of the IGF code considers the goal-based approach, MSC.1-CIRC.1394. Therefore, goals and functional requirements were specified for each section forming the basis for the design, construction and operation. In this respect the goal of the code is to provide criteria for the arrangement and installation of machinery for propulsion and auxiliary purposes, using natural gas as fuel, which will have an equivalent level of integrity in terms of safety, reliability and dependability as that which can be achieved with the new and comparable conventional oil-fueled main and auxiliary machinery. Amendments to the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, SOLAS require new ships using gases or other low flashpoint fuels to comply with the requirements of the IGF code, which contains mandatory provisions for the arrangement, installation, control and monitoring of machinery, equipment and systems using low flashpoint fuels, focusing initially on liquefied natural gas, LNG. The amendments to SOLAS Chapter 2-1, Construction, Structure, subdivision and stability, machinery and electrical installations, include amendments to Part F alternative design and arrangements, to provide a methodology for alternative design and arrangements for machinery, electrical installations and low flashpoint fuel storage and distribution systems, and a new Part G ships using low flashpoint fuels, to add new regulations to require ships constructed after the entry into force on 1 January 2017 to comply with the requirements of the IGF code. Related amendments to Chapter 2-2 and Appendix, Certificates, also enter into force. 